Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about design patterns. So what are design patterns? Well, design patterns are the reoccurring solutions that solve a lot of our design problems that we always have the solution for. And these are kind of like your standard reference points as a designer. That can mean like infinite scrolls that just keep loading. That can mean also like breadcrumbs. And these are a few examples of design patterns that we're all kind of familiar with. Now, if you're designing a new product, you'll want to figure out the easiest way that users can interact with it. So let's think of something that we always do, login and registration. Now, we always ask people to sign up, sign in, log in, and log out. And each of us use numerous web and mobile applications on a daily basis, and I think uh, we can all agree that constantly re-entering your name like over here or your password over and over again, it's tiresome. So like this completely tiresome to constantly enter your email, your name, your username, your password. And there are design patterns that solve that. So we can usually use like a pattern like this where there's like a social login or there is some kind of like remember me. These are design patterns. Now, the first step is finding the problem. So users understandably are short on time and patience from having to complete like small tasks repeatedly to access their information or get their work accomplished. So in this case, our problem is that users want to sign in quickly. Now, we often try to find ways to eliminate that pain point. That's the next step is like the solution. So we want to find ways to eliminate or at least diminish this pain point for them. So over here, a solution could be like social login, like I mentioned before, or having like a remember me checkbox. So those are ways that you can kind of solve that issue that we're all very familiar with. Now, there is no need to recreate the wheel every single time. You know, although we could design our own solution to the problem, you know, several useful solutions have already been designed in the past and they're proven to be effective. So there's no need to for you to go out there and kind of retry or redesign something like that over and over again to get like a different result when there's no need to. So for example, like I mentioned before, some sites like have the ability to allow users to sign in using social media. Others sometimes don't even ask users to sign in until they really need to. And others save the user's data and kind of pre-populate that within the sign in fields. So there are different ways that we can actually solve for this without necessarily having to do extra work. Now let's talk about the categories of patterns. So there are six categories of design patterns. And you know, this kind of changes based off of people's ideas of what design patterns are. And I mean, there's no like one truth, but these are the six categories that I usually follow. So the first one is data input. So over here we have like a kind of like a drag and drop that is considered like a data and input category. And these patterns handle data input and feedback that a product gives in response to the data it receives. The second one is content structuring. So these patterns streamline the overall kind of flow of our user experience and they ensure accessibility of all page elements. So users feel confident while they're browsing your product. So that can mean like just natural flow of the page, allowing users to have that really accessible and easy flow and just the way you kind of structure your content. So over here, like just the different options and how it's neatly structured is one way that we kind of find design patterns. Another one is navigation. So these patterns ensure like effortless navigation through your product. So like over here, we have an example of just a sidebar navigation. That is one design pattern. There are many different types of navigation design patterns. And so they're just kind of structured and we can go much deeper into what navigation necessarily means and how to have an effective navigation. Next is incentivization. So these patterns kind of push your users to perform certain actions, you know, with rewards or successfully completed actions. One thing that comes to mind that I think of is like workout based applications where they reward users based off of things that they complete or games. So these are different types of ways to kind of include those design patterns. And those are the types of scenarios that you would necessarily see them in hierarchy. 
So these patterns help you craft a visual hierarchy so you can easily distinguish primary elements. So over here we have like primary buttons, secondary buttons, even just like elements in terms of like what is selected and how things are kind of laid out on the page. So a bunch of different types of design patterns for that as well. And I will link a resource for different types of design patterns. It's uh, uipatterns.com, I believe. And that is a great place to see all the different types of patterns and different types of categories that you can kind of dig into. And the last one is social media. So these are patterns that kind of encourage users to share and interact with others online. So that could be like links, that could be just like share buttons or reply buttons. I mean, there's different ways that users can interact through social media, like tags, I would say are kind of a part of that as well. So there are a bunch of different types of design patterns in relation to social media. And that's it for our categories on design patterns.